Today I'm going to start three of my seeds for the Grow Along with Flower Hill Farm. If you want to see what seeds I'm starting and my seedling update, keep watching this video. garden friends it's Chris and welcome or welcome back to gardening at the Simon Getty North. Today I'm going to start three of my seeds for the grow along from Flower Hill Farm. I noticed Nicole had started hers and she is in zone 4b I think and I'm in zone 5b so I thought well maybe I can go ahead and get mine started. First I want to take a minute and thank Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. I'll stick a picture up and uh, I found from Redemption Seeds. And, and thank her for starting this Grow Along community and for all of us to grow these seeds together. I think it's an awesome way to be able to um, create friendships and, and be with like-minded people to grow flowers if that's what you're into. So again, Nicole, thank you again for putting all this together. I know it's probably a lot of work. So today I'm going to start three of my seeds. And the three I'm going to start is the first one will be the Baby's Breath Lady Lace, the Rudbeckia Hirta Goldilocks, and the cinnamon bouquet basil. None of these I have grown before, so it'll definitely be an experiment. And I've already started my Snapdragons, the Rocket Mix. These four rows here are all for the Grow Along. They're all the um, Snapdragons Rocket Mix. And I also have some White Rocket that's going in my Moon Garden and I'm starting to transplant the Potomac Sunrise Mix. And then I have some First Ladies Mixed Colors that I'm also gonna be putting in here. And that still, I have way too many flowers, so I'm gonna have to give away to my, my daughter and my future daughter-in-law because I've got way too many seeds or flowers. Um, I don't need all of them, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> So um, today I'm going to show you um, starting these seeds and then keep watching this video towards the end and I'm going to show you an update on some other seedlings that I have started that aren't part of the grow along but I wanted to include the grow along in this video and also show some uh, updates on some other things that I have going on. So keep watching and we'll get right to it. I forgot to mention, I started these Snapdragons for the Grow Long March the 4th. So let's go ahead and start with the cinnamon basil. And you basically follow the instructions on how deep to plant these. And these look like they want a quarter inch deep. And there's 100 seeds in this package. They're saying do two seeds per container and then you can pick one of uh, pick the best one out of the others or try to save both of them so well, these aren't too bad we'll go ahead and make a couple spots to uh, dump some seeds in And this whole tray is going to be for the basil. 
I already got it marked. We'll see if all of these germinate or not. I don't know if one ever went in this one. All right, so we got all of those in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cover these up. I'm trying to water from the bottom, but I did have to miss the top. to help with the seed germination. But from here on out, I'm gonna be watering from the bottom to try to get these fungus gnats under control. It's crazy what their purpose is. All right. So here is the cinnamon basil. And I'll put a picture up here so you can see what it looks like. The pictures of the flowers that I have um, are from the website of Redemption Seeds. And um, I'm not an affiliate from them, but they are, uh, looks like a really cool seed company to be able to buy your seeds from. And that's where, of course, we got our grow along seeds from um, to do the grow along. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and plant these others. Uh, the Rubecchia needs a quarter inch deep. The baby's breath wants just barely covered. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do these and then we'll be right back and I will show you um, the seedling update. So I have all three of them planted. This is the baby's breath. This is the Goldilocks Rudbeckia. And this is the cinnamon basil. I've got humidity domes for all of them. And I'll go ahead and get them under a grow light and then update you once they start sprouting. And I'll also probably will update when I plant the other two seeds that still need to be planted yet. Probably when I plant the zinnias and the sunflowers is when I'll probably update you on these because they should be sprouting by then and show you how far along they are. So if you'd like to see some updates on some of my seedlings, keep watching and we're gonna go and check it out. So I have quite a few things started already. Um, these are the stock cat's apricot that I started on March 14th. I have a lot of these that I need to um, get them in their plug trays. So that's my goal this weekend. This is the cat's white high double that I started on the 10th. These are all white. These will go in my moon garden. These are the stock Cat's Cherry Blossom that I started on the 10th. And last but not least, the stock Cat's Mix, which is lavender, pink, rose, and white. I started these on March 14th. So I need to get these potted up. Okay, let me get some others. 
Here's one of my trays of ranunculus that um, I keep waiting for the weather to break a little bit so I can get outside and get these planted. I've already got some caterpillar tunnels to be able to protect these um, with the freezing temperatures at night. And even though they like the cold, but they still need protection. I have three and a half other trays. So hold on. Here is the other half tray. Here's another tray of ranunculus. Here's another tray of ranunculus. Here is the last tray of ranunculus. I need to get these outside because I'm running out of room in here. <laughs> So in this tray, I have some white yarrow, and this is the Southern Charm Verbascum. Let me. This is the Verbascum, Southern Charm. This is actual Black-Eyed Susan Cherokee Sunset. And then I have six of these. These are the Pearl Yarrow Double Diamond. And look, there's a flower already. Isn't that cool? These are going in my moon garden. Both the verbascum and the yarrow are both perennials for my zone. And here is one of the bride anemones. I think there's five of these out of 20. So only five of them sprouted and 20, the other 15 did not. We started these on February 10th, and these will also go in my moon garden. Here is a silver dollar eucalyptus. I've got a couple of these, but these seeds are very hard to germinate. Um, I did a whole bunch of them, and only three of them came up out of maybe 25. So I don't know if these are just hard to grow or hard to germinate or I don't know. I don't think I had them over a year, the seeds, but hmm, I don't know. But I got a few. So the other thing I have a lot of is petunias. I started growing petunias. These are a Bravo Blue petunia. This is the double purple white petunia. I started on March the 4th. See, I got more <laughs> potting up to do. These are the headliner night sky petunias. These are the garden party blend from Botanical Interests. And these are double petal petunias that I started on March the 4th. My Lysianthus, let me get them. I have two trays. I don't know, some of them are, look like they're doing good and then some of them not so much. It looks like I've lost a few since I've transplanted them in here. Um, I'll try and see if I can get a closer picture, but they're still very tiny. And uh, I think I need to get some vermiculite or some cinnamon on the soil. But some of them are getting kind of big, like this one right here. 
I'll see if I can get a closer picture of that and put it up in the corner, but that one's looking pretty good. And then I have another tray. So there's a few in here that look like they're doing all right. This last section here, I have nothing in there. Um, but yeah, it looks like I've lost a few Lysianthus in here as well since I did the transplanting, but I guess we'll get the ones that, this one looks pretty good, even though there's like this mold stuff. But these like to be in cold environments, so hopefully they get a little bigger soon, and I can get these outside too to give me some more room to be able to start the warm loving seeds for my vegetable garden, but I think that's it for the flowers. Oh no, there's one more set of flowers. So I have also started the Macana Giant Columbine. When did I start these? Uh oh, I didn't write it on there. Maybe I wrote it on a different one. Here's some more. Uh-oh. I didn't write the date on here when I started them. Did I write this one? Nope. Looks like I lost a few in this tray. But... I love these. These are some cool looking flowers, these columbines. If you've never planted them before, I highly recommend it. They're perennials and uh, they have the coolest looking flower. I'll put a picture up of some of the pictures that I took last year of my columbine. They are just awesome. So I'll put a couple up there. So I believe that is the end of... No... These are marigold creme brulee, the marigolds that I started on March the 14th. It looks like one, two, three, four, five didn't come up. I planted a lot of flowers. This is a Rudbeckia Spuntnik. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, only six, oh, seven, oh, eight are coming up here. Do not, I have one more set of flowers for sure. Um, I'll be right back. All right, so these are the Cape Daisy Zulu prints. These are a white daisy. Um, they're an annual and they'll be going in my moon garden. I need to get these potted up there. Um, it's time for them to get out of these takeout container trays. So, um, But that is the end of my flower seedling update. So I hope you liked this video. Please smash the like button if you um, liked my video and uh, leave me a comment and let me know what flowers you've started. Have you joined the Grow Along? What flowers have you started? Please leave me a comment below and let me know. Again, thank you, Nicole, from Flower Hill Farm for putting this Grow Along together. Uh, I'm very excited to be growing along with you and your gardening community and to bring my gardening community in as well, which I think we probably share a lot of the same community. But, um, if you haven't become a Simon Getty subscriber, please become a Simon Getty subscriber today. I would be honored to have you as a subscriber and to support my channel. I love all of my subscribers and thank you so much for supporting me. Again, leave me a comment and let me know what flowers you're starting. Are you starting any flowers from seed? And just kind of let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Live, love, laugh, and garden. Hope to see you at the next video.
God bless.